Welcome back. Today on Tutorial Tuesday on Wednesday, we take a look at how to make a gun sight. Let's get started. Welcome back. Today we're going to be making two different World War II gun sights, one inside Stormworks and one using a program by Penguin Zero of the Stormworks community. So this is very cool. And I'm going to go ahead and do a disclaimer right now. I want you to see my face. I am not a Lewis scripter. No, 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 no. I am more of an artiste. So don't expect too much from <laughs> learning Lua. But I will show you how to make a gun sight. So let's go ahead and jump into the editor. All right, we are in the editor and I have two setups here. One is going to be showing you how to do it inside of Stormworks, just kind of like drawing using Lua code. The other one is going to be showing you how to use the external web page to create a gun sight. Okay, so let's start with inside Stormworks. So if we go inside the microcontroller, uh, you're going to want a video out, of course, which you would create right here. So we have our video out. Then we come into the lovely editor and you'd grab the Lua script and you just drag it down and put it right here. Easy peasy, no problem. Okay, so let's look what's in here now. So by default, it does an on-click function, it does an on-draw, and it sets it up with a solid circles. So if we go and check it out, we'll turn this on, and you'll see it is green. And that's because the circle is larger than the area in here. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like when we do a little tweak to the Lewis script. All right, so the, if you're an advanced user, you, you know all this stuff. But if you're like me and not too good at the old Lua, this might give you a little idea how to be dangerous without knowing what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it to 15 because I know that the HUD is 32 by 32. And we're going to go ahead and update this. And I'm going to show you what this looks like with the default settings in the Lua script. So if we come over here, we now divided it by fifth or half. So 30 is now 15, and we get a nice circle. Look at that, how pretty. Okay, so that doesn't look like a gun sight. It'd be hard to fire through that. So let's go ahead and tweak it a bit. Now this is where I started, and I was like, okay, no problem. I can make a gun sight like this. And so what I'm gonna do is just get rid of the F, which means fill. And then we're gonna go back and check it out again. Now, in case you have not figured it out, this is not the way I would prefer to do it because I'm in your east. So <laughs> I'm showing this to you just so you get an idea of what you can do just inside of Stormworks by using some line drawing functions. So now we have a circle. Okay, cool, great, wonderful. Kind of looks like a gun sight, but not really. So <laughs> what we're going to do is go back into the microcontroller and go ahead and add this line again. I'm uh, just copying and pasting and now I'm gonna go ahead and tweak it so that it's like I don't know half of that maybe let's do seven seven seems good okay and so all these are doing is it's taking half the screen and it's centering the circle by the width and the height so if you want it centered this is how you would do it okay so now we have more of a gun sight all right, let's go ahead and jump back in there again. And now we're going to draw a dot, just a little dot. And we're going to do that uh, with the line function. I don't know. Can we do the circle? Let's see if we can do it just with the circle code. You probably could, right? I don't know. I don't remember how far I got before I got frustrated trying to do it this way. But let's do uh, one. I don't think that works. I don't know. Let's find out. Should center a dot. Or a circle. There you go. All right. There we go. We have our lovely gun sight. And it's all nice and centered now. All righty. So we're done. That's it. Tutorial over with. You now have a gun sight. But what I wanted to do was make a historically accurate gun sight for the P47. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to Photoshop really quick. Here we go. So here we are in Photoshop, and what we have is a P47 gun sight that was in a museum. And I got this from a video on YouTube, which just took a screenshot. And now we can see what the gun sight actually looks like. We've got lines, we've got two circles, diagonals, and then range finding dots. So next what I had to do was make a 32 by 32 
uh, canvas in Photoshop. Now you can use GIMP if you don't have Photoshop, they should work about the same way, but this should give you an idea how to do it. What we have is a 32 by 32 image, which is the HUD resolution in Stormworks. So if we look at how tiny it is, actual pixels, you can see it's pretty tiny. So what we're doing is blowing this up and then I made a grid so we could see every pixel and we could draw our gun sight. So I doubled in the center and I went ahead and drew the circles and I've got my lines. It's looking pretty good. The next thing I did is I wanted it to look a lot like this gun sight. And you can see how it has kind of different colors based on how you're looking down the gun sight and how the light is hitting it. So what I did is I went ahead and flattened out the image here. And so now we have, you know, one image. And then I went into blend mode and I did a gradient overlay. And then I grabbed the colors from this image and set it to the gradient. And then I went ahead and hit OK on that. All right, so the next thing we have to do is convert this image. So let's go to the web page. And this is the Penguin Zero web page. And I'll give you the link in the description below. You can check it out. But uh, you can see I already have my gun sight uh, image ready to upload. But what I want to show you here is that it has lots of options. Some I don't know exactly what they do, but the recommended maximum number of colors is 64. And the reason for that is when this generates the code for Stormworks, it will generate a lot of code if there are a lot of colors because it has to tell each pixel what color it is and the transparency. So what you want to do is minimize the number of colors you're using for your image before you upload it. So let's go back to Photoshop. And what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this into the requirement, which is an indexed color. We're going to merge. Yes. We're going to set it to transparency. If that's already on, set the transparency on. And then we see that we have 41 colors. So that's a lot of colors. It doesn't seem like a lot of colors, but for just this yellow gradient, there's 41 colors. So what we want to do is go ahead and do local perceptual. And then we're going to change this down to 12. And it didn't change too much here. The colors are still pretty much a gradient and I'm happy with that. So now we're down to 12 colors. We'll hit OK. So now our image is converted into index color. But what we need to know is the last color number index. And so we know that we converted to 12, but in case we're, you know, with any doubt, we can go ahead over to the color table and we can count them out and we can see that transparency is this one right here. So it should be number 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It is 12, yay! So now that we know that we have 12 colors and number 12 is the transparency, we can go ahead and save this file as a BMP, P47 gun sight, and we'll call this new, just so I know that this is a new one I'm showing you, not an old one. And we wanna make sure that this is set to 8-bit and we're on Windows, of course and we'll hit okay. All right, to the web page. All right, here is the new gun site. We're gonna go ahead and save it. And now we're gonna go through the settings. So do we want multiple blocks of code? I think you can split the code up into uh, multiple blocks so that you can put it in more Lua boxes, I think. I did not try it, but I haven't had to do that because I'm using minimal colors and it fits in the box. The next thing is we want the opacity pixel, default is 100. I just left that to 100, it seemed to work okay. And now the color index for the transparent pixel is going to be 12. Um, I put pixel handling mode to exact pixel. Um, I'm sure you could use auto center, one to one auto center, scale to full screen. I'm pretty sure that for me, since I already know that my graphic is 32 by 32, that this will work fine, but we could do this too as well. But I'm gonna use mode two, because that seemed to work before. Everything else I did not touch because I am using a 32 by 32 image. This is if you're actually gonna convert your image, but we're not. We're gonna keep our 12 colors that we did on our color index, and we should be good to go. So after we are done with that, we hit upload. It's gonna go ahead and upload that file, and now it converted it. So it gives you some details on what it is, you know, the, the uh, resolution and all this fun stuff. But what we want is down here. So we go down here and we copy this code and it generates some additional um, on draw function. And then we just copy it and everything is good. Now we're gonna go back to Stormworks. All right, we're back in Stormworks. Now on the right side is the gun site that we created using the circle code in the Lua script. 
And so this one, we are going to edit it by going into the microcontroller and clicking on the Lua. And we're going to go ahead and erase the defaults. And then we're going to control V, the code that was generated by the Penguin Zero page. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of characters. In fact, there are 3,506 characters. And we have a limit of 4,096. Oh, that's kind of weird. 3,505 here. 3,506 there. Don't know how that works. But <laughs> apparently, there's just a one character difference here. But the point is, is that you can only have 4,096 characters. So if you have a lot of colors or your graphic is super elaborate, you may have to do this a different way. And I think the multiple block option on the web page is how it's done, but I'm not positive. So keep your graphics very tight, keep your colors very low, and you shouldn't have too much problems with pasting the graphic into the script editor. All right, so now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead and hit done. And we're going to update our microcontroller and spawn it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. Oh, look, it's nighttime. And we have the original, which actually doesn't have a transparent background. I kind of screwed that up. So we can go back there and fix that. In fact, let's do that right now. And so we'll go in here and we will do a screen color set to 000, which is black. And then we'll call the function to clear it using this color. And then it will draw the green and our circles, I think. Let's find out. What's daytime? All right. Well, we can still see daytime, right? All right. So there we go. So now it's clear. And if we go to nighttime, it is nice and clear. No more gray background. Oh, how pretty. All right. And now let's go ahead and look at this. Ta-da! We now have a lovely World War II gun sight and let's see it during the day really quick here there we go nice and clear nice and clear oh isn't that lovely we made gun sights all right well that's it for today hopefully you found this tutorial helpful uh you can now make some cool gun sights you can use it the in-game scripting or you can use the penguin web page anyways if you have any suggestions for either of these let me know and we can always update this tutorial later for now thanks for joining me and i'll see you next time i'm gonna go stare at the sun Oh, my eyes.